It's a dangerous time to be a soldier in the British Army. As almost 380 troops have been killed in Afghanistan and over 1,700 seriously injured. Show me your war face! Ah! I've got big weight! And yet thousands of young men from all across the UK want to join the army and get their chance to fight for their country. Where you're going, you will go. This series tells a story of four young men on their journey from civvies to soldiers. Got 30 busted on Pimpton. Beginning on their very first day as new recruits. Left, turn, out! Oh. Got it wrong! Through to frontline combat in Helmand. Jump up! Jesus Christ! Stand to! Stand to! Catterick, North Yorkshire. One of the biggest army bases in the world. Follow me. For the next 26 weeks, this will be home to 28 recruits. All beginning their life in the British Army. There are no formal qualifications required to join the infantry. The recruits just need to be between the ages of 17 to 32. Have minimal reading and writing skills and be prepared to lay their life on the line for Queen and country. Try college wasn't for me. It's just too many kids who weren't old enough. It just wasn't me. I think if anybody says you're not scared of going to a war zone, they're not human, obviously, but it's after each end, I think it's got to just go about mentally and physically prepare you for it. Ties off, don't need your ties now. Right, lads, if you've got a shirt on, take uh, it off, take off. it off now. Right next to it, let's go. Right. So check it back. Ashley Kavanagh left school at 16. Set it in as soon as he's ready. And has spent the past two years stacking shelves in Asda. Afternoon. Afternoon. So what's your name? It's Kavanagh, sir. Kavanagh, right. Okay, so you will now be known as Rifleman Kavanagh. Yeah. You officially commenced training today. Today is your official start day in the army. Basically, from today, you will serve a minimum of four years. It's just nerves at the moment, I think. You're with strange people that you've never met in your life, and um, you're going to be spending a lot of time with them. And you're scared to smile. <laughs> Almost 380 British troops have been killed in Afghanistan, and nearly 300 of them were trained right here at Catterick. If these new recruits pass out and complete their training, then some could be deployed to the front line within three months. In you go, guys. Let's grab ourselves a seat. First of all, welcome. You've made a big decision by coming here in the first place. You've all decided to become infantry soldiers in the British Army. And you should be proud of what you're doing and proud of the respective regiments that you're joining. It's not going to be easy. Main thing though, guys, is just mental robustness. Almost everything that you do here is all up here. Almost certainly all of you at some point will deploy to Afghanistan. Some of you within a few months of leaving this place. Okay, so the things that you were taught here could potentially save your lives as well as your fellow soldiers' lives. That's why you need to pay attention. That's why it's important. Okay, if you're tired, if you're monging a bit, right, you're not really listening, 
Make sure you buck up your ideas and you listen in. Only those of you that are good enough will leave this place as a trained soldier. If you're not good enough, I will make you leave. Plain and simple. If you want to stand up now, I swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, and that I will as in duty bound, as in duty bound honestly, and honestly and faithfully defend Her Majesty, defend Her Majesty against, all against all enemies and will observe and obey all orders, and will and obey all orders of, Her Majesty, of Her Majesty and of the generals and officers, and the generals and officers set over me. Set over me. You are officially soldiers. The recruits won't be allowed to leave the base or see their families for the next five weeks. And once training begins, they'll have limited access to their phones. As Ashley prepares to spend a daunting first night in the army, he's calling his dad. At the moment, it's just we've just settled in now, and it's going to start getting harder now, right from tomorrow. So, yeah, yeah. All right, and dad. I right, love you too. See you soon. Bye. Yeah, I'm quite an emotional person, you know, like with my family and stuff. So even away from my family for like a few days or months or when, where, how long it is, you know, it's still emotional to speak to him, you know. But I'm happy when I get to speak to him, definitely. It's just the first five weeks are going to be hard, you know, because you, probably your fitness isn't as good as what it's going to be, obviously, with all the training and stuff. And, um, yeah, it's just weird. <laughs> Especially when they say, like, I love you too, you know, it's, <laughs> yeah, you just want to, like, go home, but it'll be all worth it in the end, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Ashley has left behind his parents and younger brother in Leeds. And for his dad, having a son in the army is taking some getting used to. This is Ashley's room. It's quite neat and tidy, you see, because she's not here, so... <laughs> I don't think he's told you, but he's quite a good dancer. Probably be a bit embarrassed about this, actually. He won that for... Um, it, was, it was to do with uh, some charity, to do with ASDA. It would shift to bits. This is one that he, he actually videoed himself. We went in the house and he just videoed it and he said, hey, Dad, look what I've got. <laughs> I took him to the train station and I thought, crikey, I'm not going to start bubbling in front of everybody, but, I, you know, I literally did and I... You know, you know, when I waved him off on the train, thinking, crikey, he really is going now. He, he's going, you know, and I, I was stood there with, a, with an handkerchief and I had to suddenly compose myself. I'll be honest with you, I, you know, at first I'd really tried to talk him out of it because um, I guess the Afghanistan situation and, and, you know, it's the totally unknown and it's not, you're not just fighting, you've got all these IEDs and things like that and that's what frightens me. Before the reality of war, the recruits have to face another battle. A daily wake-up time of 5am. They'll need to get to grips with the basics. Do not get the blade and go side to side, all right? <laughs> the sideboard, not down here, but in the middle. After that, lads. Learn the highest standards of hygiene. Make sure they're scrubbed inside, get that toilet bowl clean around every morning. What are you doing? Get out, keep your hat on. Start conducting themselves in a military fashion. 
What are you doing? Get out. March in properly. And learn about personal presentation, army style.